In today's video, we're going to talk about the dynamic zoom on DaVinci Resolve. Thanks to this option, you can actually make different shots look even more cinematic and add camera movement into your footage. So let's go over to my laptop and let's see how you can actually use it. So as you can see, I have a pre-selected clip here, which already has some movement in it because it's going from left to right, like a slider. But we can actually spice it up a little bit. We can actually add camera movement into the clip. We can add another camera movement. And that is one of the ways I use it in a lot of my clips to add that extra movement, extra, you know, different dimension to the clip. So what we have with dynamic zoom is, as you can see, it zoomed in a little bit. And if we play this, it's going to actually zoom out slightly slowly. So now we have two movements. We have the movement from left to right, and we have the slight zooming out from that shot. In case you want to have it the other way, so from the zoomed out to zoom in, all you have to do is swap the button here, which is going to do the same thing, but in reverse. So now we're zooming in on the thing. Now there's also options for the linear, which is the one that you saw, and then ease in, ease out, and ease in and out, which make it more, instead of going straight, so from a zoomed out to zoomed in, it's gonna be like faster and slower and then faster again. So for example, ease in and ease out is gonna look like this. As you can see, it started slow, zoomed in, and slowed down again. So like the very front at the beginning and the end are more slowed down, and then there's like a you know, slide in between. But let's go for the linear for now. Let's say this is the way we wanted the clip to be. So we wanted it to be zooming in, but it's not enough. There's actually another option you can do with dynamic zoom. On the left side, you have to actually click from transform or other options, go to dynamic zoom. Remember to have that clicked in because if it's not clicked in, it's not going to work. So when we have it grayed out, it's not working. But if we have it like this, we can actually do different things. So the green is where we start. The red is where we end. So let's say we start from the full frame that we had and we wanted to zoom a little bit more in the middle. All you have to do is actually just make the red box smaller. And let's see the effect now. Turn this off so that we are not editing. And now we should be zooming much more inside that shot. So let's see how it looks like. And yes, we are zooming in a lot because, you know, the pixels can be visible now since it was recorded in full HD and we're zooming in crazy amounts. But this is just for example. You can actually set it how much you want and you can start from how much you want. Same thing goes if we swap it around, it just turns away where we start from the green and then push out to the red. So this is pretty much how you do with the dynamic zoom. You can really easily add more spice to your footage and in this case a little bit more you know, movement. And usually the more movement you have that is smooth just feels like a little bit more cinematic kind of a video. It just kind of feels that way, but it is up to you how you're going to use it. It's a great tool and very quick. Instead of playing with the keyframes, all you have to do is just click, you know, dynamic zoom and then select how much you want to zoom in and out. This is beautiful. Sometimes you don't even have to actually play around with zooming in. It might work right away with just clicking on the dynamic zoom. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and I'll see you next time.